Tabla is a Indian instrument. And its old name was before Tal Mirdanga or Urthak. And when the Muslims came to India, they found this instrument and they called it Tabla. Because in Muslim their countries, most of the drums are called Tabla. Tabal, Tubal, Tubal, Nakara, Tubal, Jang, this kind of. So they given a new name to the old instrument, Tabla. My master, great Ustad Masit Khan sahab, he told me very interesting meaning about Tabla. That tabla is a combination of Tal, Bol, and La. Ta, Ba, La. This is a fantastic explanation of what I understood. Gradually, it became very popular because this instrument can be played with dance, with the Vindrupad sometimes, Khyal, Kastalev singing, folk songs, film songs, and whatever it is. Also with Western music. Indian music as such, tabla or sitar or vocal, whatever it is, it is very much meditative and derived from religion. Without religion, we can't think anything about music. This is our Indian style of thinking. And the, the music system started in the temples, actually. Then it came to the king's court, then from the king's court now to the audience. Many kings, not one king. <laughs> so now, the, because it started in the temples and practiced by the very holy, holy kind of persons, I mean, pure kind of people, they always thought to make some praying, prayer with this instrument. The vocalists, they, had, they have beautiful poetries that they can praise God with their songs. But the tabla players or the pakhawas players, for example, they had not really any possibility to pray. So how to pray? So they found some words that could be played as a sound and also there are some meanings. Ta, death. Thun, none for sounds. And for sounds is a ta for Shiva, death for Dehi asking. Thun is infinite, thun, the infinite sound, sound and none is the blessings or good vibration, whatever it is. So when we play the tabla, we, if we know the meaning of the sounds, then we can also feel like praying. This is the most important and very beautiful thing inside. That you can transform your playing through the, your practice, through your practice of tabla. And from that four sounds, our masters, old masters, they created so many words from the sound. Letters, words. So basically we have eleven letters. For right hand, ta, ti, tu, na, tin, te, re. And for left hand, ga, ge, ga, ka, ke. And for both sides we have dha, din, dhet. Then many, many, many. It could be thousands of letters. But from these 11 letters. Then from these letters, our masters, they composed also words. And from the words to like poetry. So word, for example, dha is a letter, din is a letter, te is a letter, now. Dha, ti, te, a word. Now from that, that word, we make a kind of composition. Dha, ti, te, dha, ti, te, dha, dha, ti, te, dha, ke, tu, na, kata. It's a composition which is called Kaida. Kaida has a very interesting um, meaning. The Kaida is mostly with one sound, one beat. Strong sound. Kaida is, is manly. Maybe man. One sound, one beat. Other um, composition nearer to this is Rela, small composition, which has mostly two beat, two sounds in one beat. Or dhāta te kete tak dhenita te kete tak dhāta te kete tak dhenita te kete tak dhāta te two sounds one bit. Kāja is dhāti te dhāti te dhāda. Realize dhāta te kete tak dhenita tak dhāta te kete tak dhenita. Or dhene gada nagata tak dhene gada this kind. It's faster and this is feminine. I mean this is softer and more uh, we call rush lush. Lush is a word difficult to translate in English. Lush is a when a beautiful woman walks, walking. We say they are very beautiful. You know the style. This is a kind of, you know, woman style, I would say. And Rila has this style, see? When you play the Rila, it sounds it's very kind of difficult to say how it is. A kind of, 
Yeah, you can find the waves. rhythmic wave, like this kind of wave. And uh, these are the basic things, Rela and Kada. And from that Rela and Kada comes compositions like Tukra, like Gat, like Chakradars. It's a combination of Kada and Rela. Sounds from them, not really combination from the composition, but the sounds from Rela, sounds from Kada makes a Tukra. Like a Tukra. It's a first composition. And similar, we call God, God. That is, you can repeat it. There is a composition they make such a way that you can repeat it. The Tukra you can play one time and you can finish it. God you can repeat two times, four times, eight times, sixteen times. It has a possibility to repeat. Like, sounds are almost like other here. See? Or, this is a kind of composition which is called Gat. And Gat is many, many variety, many, many types of Gats we have. But if we discuss it, it will take maybe five hours. <laughs> then there is a part, small Kaida, Laggi, which is played with uh, some tumuri kind of singing, or ghazals, or Maybe or sometimes bhajan, sometimes sitar, drums. And then comes uh, some other composition like ro, but many, many compositions. So we don't discuss too much about this in tabla class. <laughs> but one thing interesting to add here, that tal, tal system in India, very interesting. In rhythmic system is called tal. And tal could be from 2 bits to 120 bits. But there are many, many tals, more than 340 tals, but we are not playing all these tals now because all are not very tactical. Also, too big, too big circle, sometimes difficult to understand what is going on. So our master has chosen some tals, which is not very long cycle, and can be played nicely, like up to 28 bits. Say 2, 4, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, up to 28, even half bit, say four and a half, six and a half, eight and a half, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And this tal itself has a very interesting meaning. Tal is a combination of, combination of creation and power. Creator and the power. Creator is Lord Shiva, Tao. Lord Shiva is called Tao, also Tao, Tao. And law is a, comes from Lasha. Means female dance, female partner of Lord Shiva, that means Parvati. So they say in Sanskrit, Tokaro Sankara Prakta. Tokaro Sankara Prakta. Tokar comes from Sankar. Sankar means Shiva. Lokaro Parvati Smita. Lok of Parvati. Comes from Parvati Lasha. From Lord Shiva's partner. Shiva Shakti Samayoga Tale Tibidiyati. Shiva Shakti, Shiva and Shakti power. Samayoga together makes the Tal. So Tal has a very different kind of meaning, what uh, we have to understand a little bit. It's a little, little uh, yeah, a little mystic. I don't say mystic, but spiritual for sure. But when you play Tal, you can feel that it's a creator is there, destructor, creator, or who has is creating creative things. And we do believe that the music came from the direct from Lord Shiva. Some tal, some ragas came from him direct. So from that, gradually, we have many more. But this is very long discussion.